three billion people. That's how many people who have never experienced the good news of Jesus. Three billion. The majority of these unreached people live in an area known as the 1040 window. The view through this window is bleak. These are people who have never heard about the love of Jesus Christ. But for women in India, this darkness is deepened by cultural barriers. It starts in the womb. Female babies are routinely aborted because they are female. Daughters who are born end up mostly illiterate. Widows dwell in isolation. Women overall are degraded and despised their entire lives. But the window is beginning to open. This is Jay Shri, a young girl who was filled with hopelessness and despair. Jay Shri's parents concluded she was a curse on their family. They talked about getting rid of her. Jay Shri heard every word. She knew only one way to escape her miserable life, to take the way of death. Sadly, Jayshree's story is not unusual. In India, suicide is the second biggest killer of women in their reproductive years. The most common method is by using pesticides, since they are freely available and uncontrolled. On the day Jayshree decided to take her life, she heard a neighbor's radio. It was a broadcast from Gospel for Asia, and it was just in time for Jayshree. You have decided in your life to suicide yourself. Please listen to me that give one opportunity to Jesus Christ. Please stop your uh, suicide. Jay Shri was curious. She stopped and wrote a letter to GFA. One week later, GFA wrote her back and invited her to come to the station in Nagpur. There she met Sanjay Kochade, who shared the gospel with her and ultimately led her to Jesus. Now Jay Shri felt called to share the love of Jesus with other women, especially the women in the unreached villages of India. She enrolled in a Gospel for Asia Bible School and became a native missionary. A GFA radio broadcast saved her life, and the Bible School gave her life direction and hope. But that's not the end of Jayshree's story. She prayed for the parents who abused her, and they were saved as well.